to have a look at the projector 80 watts foldable solar panel. We've had this on the go now for the last 18 months. We bought it when we uh, when we picked up the, the dock trailer. So um, this has pretty much been giving us all of our power needs uh, while we've been off the grid um, over the last few months. So what we've got, if we open her out, essentially four solid panels that fills up to a nice um, a nice size that fits in the toolbox in the front of the trailer. It's got a couple of legs that pop on the back. So on the back of the solar panel, there's a couple of little tubes that you pop the legs through. One on one side, one on the other. Pop it up, get it at the right angle we want. It'll go into the grass a little bit, and that's it. That's it essentially up, really easy. Now in the um, in the side of the bag here at the bottom, it comes with its own solar controller. And then if we open the bag out, we've got the cable, and on the end, an Anderson connector. Um, I think the I think the projector solar panel comes with crocodile clips, but um, we bought this one from Drifter who pop a Anderson connector on the on the end of it and I also use a Anderson to Anderson extension lead as well um, this one's never long enough really to get to where we want it to be especially to get into the sunshine when you're camping in shady areas and um, because it's got its own solar controller in all we need to do is connect this straight into the dot so I'll put the extension lead on solid connection with the Anderson connectors and if you come and have a look in the toolbox so I've opened up the toolbox here you see I fitted this uh, this Anderson connector here which literally goes straight um, straight through the battery monitor and into the batteries so in the trailer here we've got 220 amp hour AGM batteries and, um, and we can see that if we have a look we're drawing it um, 0.15 amps at the minute and scroll through we've got 12.87 volts at the moment put that back to amps and uh, essentially all we need to do is attach the Anderson connector from the solar panel straight in I can see now my amps has picked up. It's not it's pretty cloudy today. I've got a bit of sunshine, but that's picked up to um, 0.83 amps, and it will pick up as the day goes on and those clouds move out the way. Um, we're on pretty much 95% um, battery power at the minute, and uh, the solar power panel easily gets us back up to 100%. Every day there's a reasonable, reasonably sunny day. Um, we never really go below 95% and uh, we can be away for days days at a time another useful thing would be to pop the anderson connector on the outside you see we've got a, a power outlet on the side here and we could easily pop a anderson connector on the side here rather than popping it into the, the toolbox like that but uh, it certainly does the job and if you've got a um if you've got a dc to dc charger that's accepting solar as an input and um, then of course you need to bypass the solar controller but you can do that, you'd have to go inside and um, rewire it to bypass straight from the panels into your um, DC, DC controller. But this is pretty much a very basic setup, straight into the batteries um, via the battery monitor using its own solar controller. Simple but, uh, but very effective.